Well, everything we just did for acid strength and Ka, we can now do for base, base strength and Kb. All bases have a Kb reaction and a Kb value. Uh, we can start with my favorite weak base, ammonia. And when we write it out, it's going to be, oh, Kb reactions also have water as a reactant. And this time the acid is water. So we will transfer a proton back to the base. That will give us hydroxide as what's left over from the water and NH4 plus as what the ammonia becomes. Then if we do the reaction backwards, we transfer an H plus from the ammonium NH4 plus to the OH to make the water. We have two conjugate pairs. We have a uh, conjugate acid, conjugate base, conjugate base, conjugate acid. And one of the things we learned that we're going to talk about quite a bit coming up is that ions are acids. And that's one of the great things about Bronsted-Lowry theory and the proton transfer in water that we're looking at now. Uh, if you look at the list, which will be available to you on exams and is also here in my notes, we see that the Kb value for ammonia is 1.76 times 10 to the minus fifth. And that Kb value is for a weak base. Kb values, when they are less than one, are for weak acids. So this is a weak acid, sorry, <laughs> weak base. And Kb is a completely general formalism as well as Ka. We can do it for hydroxide, our ambassador of bases. And if we do it, we will get, well, let's do same thing. Move our H plus from our acid to our base. How do we know hydroxide is a base? It has our ambassador of bases. How do we know ammonia is a base? It's on our list of Kb substances, just in case. I mean, there, there, there are hints all around us uh, on that conversion equation sheet. That's why I suggest you become familiar with it and take a moment and draw a small smiley face in the upper left next to the Roman numeral four for me to make sure that you're listening. And now we get, take away the H plus, we get hydroxide, add one to OH, we get H2O. That's what happens with our ambassador of bases, just like our ambassador of acids, hydronium. And if we write this, Kb is going to actually be one. And one way of thinking about it is that uh, bases with Kb values less than one are weak because they're weaker than water. They're weaker than hydroxide. Sorry, they're weaker than hydroxide in this particular case. So uh, yes, as we'll see. There's our Kb values.